Okay, welcome to today's uh, assignment. Uh, uh, do a class today on uh, sing along with one potato, two potato, and the uh, translation of. Um, that's the course. Of course, this class will be a um, uh, uh, lesson within that that class. It's a variation of one potato, two potato. We're going to get the the uh, creativity going here and um, and uh, alter a classic one potato, two potato. So a new flavor of potato. So you one potato, two potato, and we're going to introduce a new flavor. Essentially what we're going to do is uh, change the, if you can have a format, it's going to go one potato, two potato, it's a sing-along. What's for dinner and introduce uh, a new uh, a dish uh, from potatoes. So, uh, what uh, th this uh, this uh, assignment I'm doing something different. Normally it's just me talking uh, in front of the camera. Um, this assignment I'm going to use slides entirely and try it this way um, in class. Um, it's good. Slides is good for they're good for the the students because they can focus on the slides. It's easier on the teacher because the teacher uh, doesn't have all the kids uh, or, or uh, young young adults or, or older adults, depending on who, who you're teaching, um, staring at you the whole time. They can stare at some funny slides or, or make the class more interesting. Um, so, um, so yeah, uh, potato, of course, is a, you know, it's a vegetable of North American uh, uh, used for cooking for thousands of years and in Europe as well. Uh, other parts of the world, uh, South America, they use yams, of course, uh, to form a sweet potato. And uh, so potatoes have a long history uh, of being used uh, f for dinner. So, so the potato is a three-syllable word. Uh, po, te, and then to. So po, te, to. It's a simple word to say. It's a funny word to say. And uh, for today's class, uh, we're going to sing uh, the, the sing-along one potato, two potato, what's for dinner, and then blank. So I want to get uh, you guys into groups, get you thinking about what could be for dinner that is exclusively from potatoes. What could it be? Go ahead, think about it. We'll come back in five or ten minutes, and um, we'll start singing. I'll give you a few examples, then you, you, you'll get back into groups, each pick one dinner item made from potatoes. You're going to get in front of the class and sing your variation of uh, one potato, two potato, what's for dinner. And of course the, the dish made from potatoes. So, um, so I'll give you three examples to start you off. Uh, you know, and maybe one other one if you're lucky, a fourth example. Let's see what we got here. So, so the first, uh, First example is, uh, you know, this is a, a North American classic, uh, mashed potatoes. So the sing-along would go, one potato, two potato, what's for dinner? Mashed potatoes. Let's see how that goes. So one potato, two potato, what's for dinner? Mashed potatoes. You can do it any way you want. <laughs> but the we're going to introduce, introduce a dish at the end of it. Uh, the dish is going to be uh, a standard dish. It could be a North American dish. It could be a European dish. It could be an Asian dish made from potatoes. Uh, South American, um, African dish. You know, they, there's root vegetables all over the world. So, the second example is one potato, two potato. What's for dinner? Roasted potatoes. So, of course, the the potatoes have been roasted, seasoned with uh, you know is it oregano, uh, you know. Possibly basil. I, I don't know. What, a fennel. I don't know. You put you put a bunch of stuff on roasted potatoes. The important thing is they look delicious. Okay. The third example: one potato, two potato. What's for dinner? And this is a family favorite: baked potatoes. So every North American family, they make a variation of baked potatoes. Normally they serve it with some kind of meat, like a turkey and baked potato, or chicken baked potato, uh, but you could have baked potato by itself. Um, normally they, they'll even use sour cream, uh, cheese, uh, bacon, chives. It's very tasty. Uh, so the fourth example, I'll give you one more. This one's a European example. 
um, you know, you, 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 I, mostly in North America, it's not it's not common. In Europe, it's fairly common. They're called scalloped potatoes. So the song goes, one potato, two potato, what's for dinner? Scalloped potatoes. So one potato, two potato, what's for dinner? Scalloped potatoes. You can do it any way you like. The important thing is you pick a dish that's tasty and interesting. Uh, because if you just use raw potatoes, for example, it's, it's not a good thing, right? So a raw potato, not a good dinner. Scalloped potatoes, very tasty. So, um, we'll get you back into groups. You're going to think within your groups, you'll get a groups of four. Each of you will come up with your own potato-based dish. It could be from anywhere in the world. You can use the internet to research. We're going to get back um, into, to, into a class again. And each one of you will sing in front of the class your variation of one potato, two potato, what's for dinner? So get into groups, get started. And when you, uh, you have your t- five or ten minutes are up, I'll, 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 uh, I'll end the, uh, the, the uh, in-class uh, group work, and you'll, you'll start your presentations. Okay. Okay, good luck.